continue our coverage of Conference USA Media Days, we continue in the West. And joining us now, the head coach of UTEP in his very first season, a guy I've known for a long time, former head coach at a couple of places, Dana Devlin. Dave, good to see you again, Ron, buddy. Good to see you. We're yes, gonna go, we good won't to do any time. of the other stories until later, <laughs> okay? okay? <laughs> Darren Gatewood also <laughs> joined us. He was Conference USA honorable mention on the offensive line. Good to have you here, my yes, friend. Sir. And also Nick Needham. Conference USA honorable mention in 2017. How you doing? The first question I think is the most <laughs> obvious. You, you've been at Kansas State under Bill Snyder, where you played also for a very long time. You've been a head coach. What attracted you to UTEP, though? You know, it was a great opportunity for me. You know, obviously been a head coach a couple places, and then being back at K-State for nine years, and got to see my two children go through high school and graduate from college. Mm -hmm. And now was the time for me to get back and take some opportunities as a head coach. And when I saw this one, I said, what a perfect fit. So reminiscent of what we took on at K-State two different times. Right. What a, to turn a program around. So I said, this is a perfect fit for Dana Dimmel. Well, I, you know, we used to call Bill Snyder the professor. Uh, what did you learn from him? Oh, because gosh. he's the meticulous, yeah. you know, yeah. everybody's heard the butter story yeah. and all that. We but. have the butter, you know I'm yeah, all wrong, yeah. but yeah, God, where do you start with him? But the biggest thing is his consistency, his diligence, mm -hmm. you know, his knowledge of the game is outstanding. Sometimes that gets underrated, but just, he, you know, the big things that we're trying to teach our guys and they're learning very quickly is how important unity is, how important it is for them to take leadership and ownership in their team. I was asking some people to describe spring practice for me, and the one word that kept coming up is energy level. Everybody said the energy level in spring was very evident. Was it what you wanted it to be? Yeah, we want it to be a really positive environment. That's what we're trying to teach, so enhancing these student athletes, but doing it in an extremely positive way. And so that's where the energy comes in. Practices are not real long. They're all based on reps. So once you get the mm -hmm. reps done, we're done, you know, and the quicker. And we got them done, you know, in, in a pretty timely fashion in the spring, but they'll get quicker in the fall. And that's fun and that's exciting for the guys to know. The, the big question, I think, on offense, and I'm not trying to be unfair here, do you have enough playmakers on offense? I do. We do. You know, we definitely do. You know, obviously, you're not. Gonna, I'm never going to come and brag about things or mm -hmm. whatever, but obviously <coughs> we're coming off of a season that was disappointing last year, but there was a lot of reasons why it was a disappointing mm -hmm. season. The players are very hungry and there's plenty of talent for us to have success well I look down and I see you through 63 passes in the spring game yeah. is is that <laughs> indicative of what we're going to see this year I don't think so Ron. That's <laughs> just, you know, we did that every year at K-State well Bill too. Snyder would come down and personally probably <laughs> yeah. kick your behind if you did that Yeah, but you we know? did that at all of our K-State spring games too because the quarterbacks call the plays you know mm -hmm. what I mean most of the spring games and so they're going to call passes all the time <laughs> but we're going to be you know we're going to be exciting and fun to watch and score plenty of points like we did at K-State how, how much of the K-State concepts are you going to run? Because obviously the K-State concepts, the run, quarterback option from a shotgun, a lot of misdirection. Are you sure. going to be running that? Sure. You know, you're not going to get away. You know, what some guys have to understand is that the reason you got the job is because of the success that you had as an offensive coordinator. So we're not going to get too far away from what we did at K-State. We're going to stay within those concepts. And, you know, Coach talked about, Coach Snyder talked about the Big 12 Media Days yesterday about our playbook is this big and we can make it shape our, our personnel. Right. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the, 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 the system match the personnel. I'm going to talk to Darren about this, but how important is it to develop an offensive line to be consistent? Not just develop players, yes. but consistent. We can't be good if we're not good up front. I mean, mm -hmm. that's K-State way. That's what I knew and as far as all, all, every, every place I've been <coughs> offensive coordinator at Houston, Wyoming. Mean, we were good up front, you know, and we got to be good up front because we count on those guys to set the tone of the game. Darren, I want to talk to you about the offensive line. How important is it for you guys to come together? It's very important because, like Coach Demo said, it starts up front. So we just got to have that chemistry, and especially because everybody depends on us, especially on the offense. So that's where it starts. Now the offensive coordinator is Mike Canales, and he is probably uh, a familiar name for a lot of people. Was the assistant coach and interim head coach at North Texas. We call him Chico, though. But yes. uh, <laughs> how about Coach Canales? The fact he came in, we've known him for a long time. He's an excitable guy. I don't think he's ever had a bad day. No, What's sir. he like? He's excited. I mean, he's always got positive energy, especially when we go and practice, especially in the spring when we were doing team. He was always positive. He was always right there to pick us all up, and I love Coach Canales. <laughs> you scored only 83 points in Conference USA play in 2017. Was that frustrating for you, and was that something that's always going to be in the back of your mind? We're not going to do that again. Hey, it's, it was frustrating. I mean, it was hard, but, I mean, we, we look past that now. That's all behind us, and we're just we're looking forward to this new year. Talk about that, Dana, because every coach I've ever talked to in my career said, number one thing you got to change, it's not necessarily X's and O's, it's culture. 
Yes. Fair for you? Yeah. Oh, no doubt. You know, we're trying to install our system and instill our culture, and that's what we're trying to do, and that's the big thing. And, and the, the best thing about our guys that we have right now is the first day I got on the job, I said, you guys are our guys. We're mm -hmm. all in this thing together now. And I've felt nothing but great camaraderie, and the players are taking everything we're giving them, and that's a, that's a really nice situation to step into. I mentioned you've been a head coach at a couple of different places, a long time, obviously, a Kansas State assistant. How different are you from your first head coaching job to where you are now? Yeah, great question. Question. You know, obviously, I was a head coach at 34 years old. You know, right. so I stepped into it at a very young age. And Ron, you and I were <laughs> working together <laughs> that then. When I was 34 years old at Wyoming, and and um, I was only 10 by the I way. I know you were. <laughs> 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 and so, those are good times. And just, but now you go back and you're an assistant. You know, mm -hmm. and you get with the players, and you really understand. You know, what do the players look at as a positive way to encourage them, and what do they look at mm -hmm. as a negative way? And you're in the meetings, you're in the trenches with them. And now, when you go back and be a head coach and say, hey. This is what I'm going to do for our guys to make it a positive environment for them. Nick, I want to talk to you. I, I asked somebody, I called somebody on the phone the other day. I said, give me a description of Nick Needham. This is a quote, stat stuffing, active ball hawk, all mm. league potential. Mm. Is that a pretty good description of you? Uh, it's somewhere around there. I, don't, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't be modest. No, nah, right? yeah, yeah, we're on live television. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, yeah, no, I would say I take pride in the way I play. Uh. I am a ball hawk. I want the ball. Uh, I had some missed opportunities last year that I could have made some more plays on the ball, so I'm looking forward to more of those this year and uh, finishing the plays. Well, I remember when you first stepped on the field in 2015, and I called it trial by fire. Right. How have you improved since 2015? Oh, yeah. No, we've definitely grown, especially me and Kalon. We both are at uh, corner, true freshmen. Uh, but just it feels just like high school from freshman year to senior year. Mm -hmm. uh, the game has slowed down for me. I'm more comfortable out there. Uh, I have better relationships with my teammates. I trust them more. Well, not that, but, you know, saying I've been right. here longer, I trust them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, just like that. Well, you know, one of the things that stood out to me last year is I thought you got better as the season went on. Is that a fair statement? Uh, yeah, you could say that for sure. Uh, and it was definitely because of uh, Coach Bell, our DB coach, he just kept saying just keep fighting, keep fighting because we weren't, you know what I'm saying, the best team last year. But, uh we had to just keep uh, digging deep and trying to fight through the, uh, the adversity. How, how tough is it to change? Because last year you were a three four. This year you're probably going to play a four two five. I think. Right. Right. How difficult is that to make that change? Um, I mean, corner is really not that big of a difference because at the end of the day, it's an island. It's the man. Yep. He is one on one, man on man. So, uh, I mean, the schemes are going to be a little different. It's going to help actually a little bit because we have four uh, four down linemen. Get some more pressure on the quarterback and stuff like that. Create more uh, opportunities for interceptions and. Uh, you know what I'm saying, missed off, mishaps from the offense. So, Is your name going to be in the record book at the end of the year? Because um, you, you're number two in passes broken up. I think you only need two right, to yeah, pass right, it. Right, right, right. Um, I hope so. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just go out there every day and just play my game. But uh, if it comes, that would be great to uh, be up there with Aaron and Will and all the uh, UTEP greats. That would be steal, amazing. Not to steal Leslie Nielsen, the great comedic actor, his line, I know you guys don't do impressions, but what was your impression of Dana Dibble the first time you met him? Gentlemen, Derek, start with you. Uh, uh, I, the first impression, I would, ah. Okay. <laughs> I said, I said me, and, yeah. me and my friends joke around, I said he looked like Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I did. I did hear the Brock Lesnar. Big, one. Did big you really? body. Yeah, yeah, I did hear the Brock Lesnar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. So, yeah. I mean, was no, but he was a cool. No, just he came off uh, as like truthful. You could tell he was true. Uh, you could tell he already wanted the best from the team, and uh, he just seemed like a great guy off exactly. the jump, for sure. Yes, sir. Bro and I can't look at you now because of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys. see it? You, you <laughs> realize he was a heck of a player, too. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. for sure. Okay, go, yes, go back and look. I, they're in black and white, but you can probably see some highlights. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm going to Google Brock Lesnar now. <laughs> there, there you go. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. I thought that last year the defense wasn't as bad as people thought it was because I thought no they doubt. were on the field yeah. too long. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I went back and studied each game, you know, as you do, Ron, and you see early in the ball game we were in a lot of football games last year. And so, you know, the defense has some good components coming back. There are some players that can play. They didn't get the notoriety because mm -hmm. when you're 0-12, you just don't get that. But when I look at, you know, we studied it, you know, as I was interviewing for the job. We studied the defensive mm -hmm. personnel. You know, Mike Cox, who's our was with us at K-State that's our defensive personnel, I gave him the film. I said, hey, you know, study. And he's like, coach, there's some guys here that you can do some good things with. And I think the five DBs you have – and the way you play fit your personnel. I, I mean, I really no believe doubt. that. No doubt. And, and like Nick said, we can put pressure 
on the quarterback because we can lock down at our two corner right. positions. Our two corners are very good football players. So now this downtime, I mean, you're going to start in just a couple of weeks, but this downtime, is it starting to churn inside again as that I'm the head coach sure. and it all rides yeah. on me? Yeah, no doubt. You know, here we are. We're back in the saddle again. It's <laughs> fun, you know. Uh, been uh, I've only taken a few days off all summer, oh, you know, wow. because you just don't your first year There's so much to do and I want these guys to have success, you know, well, so we're working hard Well gentlemen, I look yeah. forward to seeing you during the season. Yes, sir. Stat stuffing ball hawking I thumper. like it. I like mm -hmm. it. You I like, it. like it too. It's his <laughs> nickname is thumper Okay. Lots of adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, thank you. I wish you a pleasure, my friends. Yeah.